What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Canvas Conversations, brought to you by Flow Combat. Last night was UFC Fight Night 131 in Utica, New York, and one of the most anticipated bouts of the night was UFC newcomer Jose Shorty Torres taking on the monkey god Jared Brooks. I had a chance to speak with both of these guys in the week leading up to the fight, and I could tell from speaking to them that this was going to be an awesome fight. Uh, I knew that these guys both had a lot of confidence heading into the fight. Of course, Jose Shorty Torres is the two-division champion out of Titan FC, and uh, he was just beaming with confidence. And, you know, he's saying things like he's going to make a highlight reel out of uh, Jared Brooks. And, I mean, I feel like in some fashion he definitely did that. That is – it's been on ESPN. It's, it's, a, it's a highlight reel moment for sure. Definitely not in the capacity that he imagined, I am sure, though. Uh, Jared Brooks, all credit to him. Dude came out firing on all cylinders. I really did not expect him to control the... the he didn't control the, the... I mean, Shorty was walking him, walking him down, but Jared was just landing and setting things up as Shorty was walking in. So he was controlling the fight overall. Uh, he landed some awesome spinning attempts. He, of course, landed the spinning back fist that dropped Shorty. Um, and then when he got on top and at, when he was uh, attempting the guillotine or whatever choke he was going from from the front headlock position, there's a number of things he could do there, of course. He just starts kneeing Shorty. It looked like at first in the head, and I was kind of like, yo, whoa, is, is that? But upon a closer look, I could tell that it was going to the shoulder. But, geez, he landed probably 10 or 15 of those blows, maybe more. And I was just thinking to myself, you know, that that has to be awful. I don't know if you guys have ever been just like punched in the arm by somebody sometimes and it just gets you in the right spot and it goes dead. I was just like, I can't imagine how one of those hasn't landed in just the right spot to like really just tear up somebody's arm or hurt his arm, you know, but incredibly he withstood that, stands up, uh, re- kind of regains his composure and ends the the first round w- with still a lot of confidence. I mean, Jared Brooks was on his back to end the round, but, you know, as soon as the uh, bell rang, they kind of look at each other and Shorty just nods his head and they go to their corners and Jared throws up his arm, obviously confident that he won the round, and both go to the stool and, and have their breaks and come out ready to go. I just knew that second round was was going to be fireworks, but I did not expect what we saw. So I figured we would break down this slam that we saw last night, and uh, I'll bring it up on the TV for you guys. There's the image. We've been seeing it here the whole time. And uh, wow, look at that. That's a crazy still. That is it. We'll talk about it, but just even looking at that, it kind of speaks volumes of what it was like. So we'll go ahead and play this video and check it out. Man. Boom. He's out already as soon as he lands. That was the UFC, uh, what UFC tweeted, their image. But we'll also play the one that ESPN played, and they give us a couple more angles. Here's the ESPN one. Boom, of course. Same uh, angle and clip. And then here's the one that ESPN gave us. I'll pull that up. Okay. This is the better angle, I think. So he picks him up in that double, and Shorty adjusts midway in the air as he's going down to move his head. So here he is picking him up. He could have dumped him right there, but instead he picks him up, jumps. Wow, I'm impressed, honestly, by the jump that Jared makes as he can jump up like that, that high, and just... Throw them back. I know they're only lightweight, so they're capable of a lot. But wow, that was incredible. I mean, to be able to have the state of mind, Shorty, to grab the hips, hold on to the hips, and go, okay, I'm probably going to go for a ride here, and to start turning to the best position he can be in as they land. You'll see it here. He grabs the hips immediately, and he starts turning as, like, as he's going down, moving Jared Brooks's hips. All credit to Shorty for, you know, just staying aware through that position. But, man, I, I, don't, I don't think a lot of people understood why Jared Brooks did this. But I really feel like after the first and second round, he was even, I feel like, 
arguably winning the second round. I mean, Shorty was turning it on and starting to land a little bit more, but you could say that he was he was pitching a shutout like Tim Elliott tweeted. Uh, and, man, he was doing a, a really phenomenal job, like I said. And when he picks him up, I feel like he just had this moment where, okay, I'm going to put a stamp on this right now. I'm going to slam this guy. I'm going to take the wind out of him. If not, I'm going to at least take the the mindset out of him that I'm going to win this with a big raw from the crowd. And it just didn't work out for him. As soon as he jumped up in the air, that there was just this moment of, I was just like, why is you so much energy? Like I didn't, I didn't of course think he was going to slam a fall on his head like that. But as soon as they landed, I went, Ooh, just like the announcer said, uh, Oh, that was a bad idea. That looked like a bad idea or something. I can't remember which of them said that. But wow, just a tremendous moment there uh, where Shorty has the opportunity to make the best of a situation and capitalizes on it truly. And then, of course, I think he was out. It just was weird that he kind of, the way the body moves and operates once it's knocked out, when he just kind of rolled over, it sort of looked like live, like he was kind of in a daze, but no, he was, I'm pretty sure he was clean out, but like I said, all credit to Jared Brooks, he brought it the first and second, and in the second round, Uh, and like I said, he was doing a phenomenal job, some stuff, awesome setups, and some awesome uh, stuff that we haven't seen from him, in the interview, he told us he wanted to use his full toolkit against Jose Shorty Torres, and felt like there was a lot that we hadn't seen from him, and I, I totally see what he was talking about now, and I agree. There, there was a lot that I we hadn't seen from him before, and some of that power that uh, he we knew he had really started to land and and worked well for him. So it'll still be exciting to see what comes of Jared Brooks and uh, where he goes in the future. But of course, Ho- Jose Shorty Torres, uh, after a long, long anticipated debut, he gets the W and. The guy just finds a way to win, you know, like he said in the interview, he's kind of like uh, the Justin Gaethje of the flyweight division, which I'm not sure if he wants to uh, uh, push that very much longer. You know, I don't I don't know how smart it is to want to have that role in in the UFC, but man, it, it gets a lot of eyeballs and a lot of attention. And if you can find a way to win and pull out those victories, then I mean, who can argue with the style really? Right. So. Who am I to say? Who am I to judge? But it just seems like the the game is to not get punched in the face and to punch the other guy in the face. So if you can at all, you know, dodge a punch or slip a punch or two, my, I mean, by all means, please do so, I feel like. But uh, all the credit in the world to both of these guys coming out there, both, both of them taking the fight on short notice. Uh, we thought there might have been a little drama there, but luckily there wasn't. I was glad to find out that there was no drama, that nobody was really truly threatened. Just like like uh, Brooke said, he felt threatened by the uh, the matchup a little bit. You know, Shorty obviously has a lot of accolades and is a great opponent, so it made for a great matchup. But uh, it was an awesome uh, night of fights all together and a great way to kick things off. So. Guys, be sure to tune in to Canvas Conversations and all of our upcoming interviews. And for all the latest news in MMA, please check out flowcombat.com. Guys, we'll see you soon. Thanks.